Hi, welcome back to Crazy Good Time. I'm Jenny. I'm Brittany. And on today's episode, we don't really know what we're going to talk about. No. We're just going to... We're going to wing it. We're going to wing it. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to wing it. We have some ideas. We actually... Well, I tried. Our... My cousin, her niece, is going to be studying abroad. She leaves um, next month. Yes. I think she leaves February 14th on yeah. Valentine's yeah. Day. Yeah. yeah. February. So... Um, she's a, get a senior in college. She's in a sorority. She's studying abroad in Italy. So I thought, how fun would it be to have her on? And she was like, I don't know about that. I'm like, oh my God, it will be so much fun. Like, don't even worry about it. And, um, she ghosted me. <laughs> she totally did. She did. She's terrible at responding anyways. But I, I initially messaged her cause I'm like, okay, yeah. when do you leave? Is it even still happening? Because of, you know, everything going on yeah. and it's no, it another is. country. And then she said, yes, it's happening, and I'm leaving this day. And I'm like, well, we need to see you before you leave. When are you going to be in town? She's like, this this weekend. I'm like, perfect. When we see you, let's just, like, do a double here. No. Nope. I even texted her today to see uh, what she was doing when I got done with my hair. And she what a brat. didn't respond. <laughs> I you told her, are a brat. I know. I tell her mom all the time. I'm like, she never responds. And I think when I even messaged her to begin with last week, I... Was like, FYI, like, please respond to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I know she's going because her mom said, I just bought the plane ticket. Oh, yes. Her mom did tell me that. I yeah. don't know why. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, Whatever. Her Whatever. mom was like, and it cost me X amount of dollars. And I said, actually, that's a really good price. Yeah. She said, really they're flying good. United. I, yeah. We've flown United. Um. But I said, I've never flown United internationally, so hopefully, I'm sure it will be fine. It's got to be a bigger plane and more comfortable, you would think, right? I hope. God, flying, I hope. I know. So we're not, like, smashed in, like, could sardines you, for a 10-hour flight. I I would really? shit. I, could you imagine? There would be no way. No way. If I were flying internationally, I would want to make sure that I could afford a first-class ticket or a business class because that way you'd have more space. More room, because that's a long time to be in a plane. Long time. You know what I keep picturing? Remember, um, did you ever watch Sex and the City? Oh, of course. <laughs> One and two, the movie? Yes. So number two, when they go, is it Dubai? Yes. Yes. And, they and they're on that little that... rinkety plane? No, they're like on a nice plane. And they I'm have thinking, like their own little. Oh, they had, yes. Their individual. They, it went back to a bed, all yes, of that. Yes. Uh, and they had a bar on the plane. I ever wonder if planes oh. are really like that in real life because I've never been on a plane where I've seen anything like that before. I know they have double decker planes. Do they? Yeah. I don't know that I've ever even been on a plane that has first class, which I don't know what that says about me, but. <laughs> You have. It's just so small, you don't even realize. Because I think of it like the movies. You've yeah, got, no, well, I think of not. Bridesmaids, and they've got the curtain, and she's peeking oh, through the curtain. There is her. a curtain. Oh, I guess I've never, Their I seats are a little bigger. I'm talking a little bigger. Like you get a little bit more leg room. A little bit more leg room. I have been There's on a plane where they have room. actually shut the curtains, and I'm like, ooh, hoo, hoo, okay. I Good don't for think you. I ever have. Kudos. <laughs> Uh, one day, one day Jerks. we'll go somewhere and fly, fly <laughs> right. first class right. someday. Who knows yeah. where, but I would love to go to Italy, but yes, I, I know that we had talked about all trying to go for spring break, but Lord, that's in two March. months. March. Yeah. There's no way that I, I mean, could manage a international trip in two months. I There's can't, no way. No. I wish. And I don't have any time off in the... No. In the month now. Maybe she'll she'll go and she'll have the time of her life and I then hope. we can all go back later and as a vacation, that would be fun. So, I hope. Yeah. That would be so yeah. much fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I noticed these on your little bar cart. What are these? I think these are so cute. <laughs> I, I'm making homemade vanilla oh for gosh. Christmas. So those I know it's January, but they're going to ferment for a year. Is that the word? Yeah. Okay. For a year. So I'm really hoping that it's really like nice. It's so easy. I did not realize how easy it was to make um, your own vanilla. It's literally vodka and vanilla beans. Really? I swear. So these are vanilla bean sticks? The vanilla beans. I ordered them off of Amazon. And, um, and these bottles you ordered off of Amazon too? No. Dollar Tree. Seriously? Seriously. And yeah. she was talking shit about Dollar Tree crafts, y'all. <laughs> This ain't a craft. It's not, and it doesn't look like it came from Dollar Tree, so. No, I'm not gluing beads to it. <laughs> You're not going to bedazzle them? 
I'm not going to put tassel them. I'm not going to put the Dollar Tree oh little God. stickers Those on them. Right. <laughs> The, rhinestone the little rhinestones or the yeah. little rocks no, glue gonna, on there. Come not on. I'm not going to do that. But no, um, that's so I awesome. learned how to do that when um, we would go visit Grandma. Yeah. Um, in Kansas City, we stayed at a house. Um, I forget what the house is called. Um, but we stayed at the house. Wasn't it like the Friendship Friendship Inn? Something like that. It's like a house for, uh, for families who have... Loved ones, Loved in, the ones in the hospital going through treatment for a or long whatever. period of time, kind of like a Ronald McDonald house, but different for, adu right. for adults, yeah. Because yeah. you yeah. would, I mean, donate and in all of it, it's like a bed and breakfast, all it's basically it a bed is. and breakfast, and you have to pay, but yes. it's a fraction of what it would yes. be to stay in a hotel. Oh God. It was, and it was right down the street from the hospital, so yes, it was right amazing. Down. But and yeah. a woman, she had. She was talking about making these, and I was talking to her, the woman that ran the place, and yeah. I was talking to her one night, and I was like, well, how do you do that? And she said, it's vanilla beans and vodka. And I was like, that's it? And she said, yeah. And then she... she Top shelf uh, vodka? <laughs> actually, any vodka? I, any vodka. Is cheap vodka. Would you, would you use McCormick's? <laughs> Whatever the cheapest was. I asked um, the owner at yeah. the liquor store. I said, I'm making vodka. I go, do people use the cheap stuff or the good stuff? She goes cheap stuff. Oh, you, said, you told her you were making vanilla? Yeah. So you making I, vodka. I bought, or I'm sorry, vanilla. <laughs> vanilla because I bought three bottles of it and I oh didn't my gosh. yeah. I right. mean, you're buying three bottles of vodka. Three handles of you vodka. You either have a problem or something. Maybe you're having a party. Nah, or a problem. Or, I mean, but maybe, anyway, uh, maybe not. Maybe a party for your problem. <laughs> party for your problem. Or you're making vanilla. So, that is so awesome. I know. So everybody will get one of these. I made cutting boards for everyone just this past Christmas. And we love them. And they're they were beautiful. They're amazing. And they're beautiful. And it's out. It's I from the brought tree. One we'll have to bring one next week. But it's from the tree that mom and Jake cut down from yes. their front yard, right? Yes. It so is. not only did you make cutting boards for everybody, but you also made those beautiful shelves in your kitchen with them, which yes. are like the open floating shelves. shelves. Yeah, yeah the, open the open shelving. the open shelving. Um. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm super excited because this is so cute. Like, even if you didn't use it, this is just cute. I mean, I'm obviously, I'm going to use it. Yeah, but use it. I was just thinking the other day, right. I opened my vanilla, oh. and we always usually get vanilla from Mexico when we go. We do. And I opened it, and I thought, gosh, I'm almost out of this. I mean, I've probably had the jar for years, but I'm like, I'm almost out of this. Like, I need to get some more. So that's awesome oh my gosh that makes yeah last time we were in mexico your mom and i got a big bottle. well i got a big bottle uh -huh. i think your mom did but oh, i ended up buying too. parker a big bottle as well yes i remember and so, and they come in the plastic bottles now and, not the glass well mine i did get a big plastic did bottle you? but i put it in a glass one okay i like the glass one <laughs> me too but... i put it in a glass but to travel back mm -hmm. to the states it was nice to have it in plastic because we had to take it in our carry-on right I don't know. I don't remember all that. Well, but you also said, side note, in random, oh, yeah. speaking you were of with Christmas us. Did gifts, you buy some too? I Apparently I did not because <laughs> what I have, I've had since probably for 10 years. Oh, okay. Which it probably is expired. So all you people that are like pantry Nazis and you throw things out by their expiration date, I don't. So I'm sure it's still just fine. It might be a little bit stronger, but who cares? Okay, right? but you should. Um, I feel like it's still, it, it's fine. Like 10 it's years? Fine. Yeah, I mean, I'll throw it out when I get this for Christmas. Okay, well, hey. <laughs> but you also said you were going to make candles for Christmas. Are you still making candles? Yes. I don't know. We'll see. This is, I this is what to. you made, right? I did. I made it, yeah. I just got like a little, um, a pipe pan at the antique mall or what? something. What started that conversation? Because you found this huge I candle know. at Home Goods, right? Yes. The Christmas and isn't it in a like a hammered metal yes, type bowl. gold bowl? Huge. It's, 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 it's huge. huge. It's huge. huge. And I think that's what brought on the conversation was to find unique bowls or something to then make candles. Yeah. You're really um, like expanding. I don't know why my hair is driving me. That's right there. Um, you're expanding your crafting to useful things. Don't say crafting. Okay. I'm not a crafter. Um, mm -hmm. I am more. What do we say? You're I repurposing? Do, I don't know. Um. I guess I do like to make a few things, but just, you what know. What would you call that? I don't know. 
candle making, vanilla making, <laughs> cutting board making, cutting board making. Do She's I gonna be making moonshine soon. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't. She has this big island we sit at. I made this um, like that. cement. This is made out of cement. And then I just made it into a candle. So, I mean, I do make stuff. I just don't. It's like, just not your typical crafts. Right. I'm not like your, like your mom is so talented. I mean, I, she's extremely talented. She always has been. Drives, yeah. I can't drive, like, draw a stick figure to save my I life. I can't so. either. <laughs> and your mom, I don't know if you watched her last video, but she mm -hmm. had a challenge. And... She's going to shoot me. I know. I'll watch mm -hmm. it today. I, I watch it. <laughs> I watch every single one. And um, she, I mean, the stuff that they sent her to make, I was like, oh my God, I would have chucked it. And so what was I the, quit. What was the challenging part? What was she making and what was the challenging part? Well, she had, for one, um, what are those skewers she had to do? Dice. Okay. They sent her dice. Like foam mm -hmm. dice from the Dollar Tree. I also don't, I wish Glit. my brain worked like that, but yeah. I don't have that creative side of my brain that is like, oh, I see yeah. A, B, and C, and I can whip this into whatever. I can't do that with cooking either, which is why I do HelloFresh or every plate or whatever, because I can't look in the pantry. I and just signed like, up for dinnerly again. Yeah. Huh. Sydney um, was just asking me today if I still do that, and I'm like, no, I stopped, but I feel like I want to get back on it because uh, it takes the stress away from cooking because I can't. So dinnerly or everly? Every there's plate. every plate. There's dinnerly. I there's think I just did dinner, dinnerly. But and I, it's $50 off. Yeah. I'm, like for your first three. Or I mean, see, they divide it. My first box again. for three days yeah. is free shipping, and it's um, for three meals, I'm sorry. For three meals is... Um, That's about what I did before for two people, but you... Less than $16.50. That's all it cost me. Well, the next one will be like $28 and $28. That's it. Well, check and you let me know which one you did again. It's no. generally. It's is generally, it? Okay. Yeah. I'll do it's that generally. again then because I do. I cannot look in my pantry and be like, oh, I've got noodles and this and this and that and throw it together. Darius can yeah. 100%. And we talked about it like a we week ago. We look at our pantry and we're like, we have nothing right, we have to nothing. eat. Right, we have nothing. I don't know what to Where about. are we going to eat? <laughs> and he's tossing things out of the pantry like, you could do this with this. You can do this with this. He's going in the freezer and he's like, you can make this with this and you can do this with this. And I'm just like, okay, yeah. I'm so overwhelmed right now. Like, I don't. You know Shane Ugh. can do some of that too. Shane, and I can too, but I, I, I don't I know. know. I just, I'm, I'm just, yeah, it's not my forte and no. I'll be the first to admit it and that's okay. We didn't say what wine we were drinking, which this is okay, is but box this is box wine. wine. Fran Franzia. Franzia, I Franzia, think. Franzia, you can't go wrong with it. Chillable red. It's mm -hmm. really good. I like it. Was it chilling on your front porch again? It was. It takes up too much space in the fridge. And it's been so cold. I and thought I, that's what we were going to drink last week because I saw it in between your house and your planter, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> she's chilling our wine for the." <laughs> I did for the podcast. It's cold enough it. outside. It is not? actually today is beautiful. It's today is beautiful. I'm not for sure. I that thought, oh, is crooked. I that's can. In the that's going to we'll drive me it. crazy. I'll fix, fix that it. lampshade. Oh. We're, we're sitting differently this week because we, we thought, are we thought we'd switch it up is that even yeah that okay i'm gonna see yeah yeah stuff in the oh, who, anyway, cares? who cares yeah who cares this is our our podcast she shed but it also i do come out here and do things you know like, like i don't know your vanilla making and your candle making. i did all that in the kitchen oh but yeah the candles, for sure. For sure. I'll do that up. I just, I'm so excited. For really? It. Yes. When I immediately saw it, I thought, oh my gosh, my because of the color of it, I thought she put white wine in these cute little bottles and we're just going to tip it back in the middle of our episodes. Oh my gosh. She's turning into me. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought this is the cutest thing. And when I asked her, she was like, no, that's vanilla. I'm like, we got to show them this because this is amazing. And it's so easy. Two ingredients. Two ingredients. And bottles from Dollar Tree that are so cute. Like, yes. I love it. Yeah. And I probably should have got the twisty lids, but they didn't have no. it. And I think those are so cute. I, I love, love this. the bottles. Yeah. I think it's perfect. And it's easy to pop out. It's it's going to yeah. be perfect. And they can always 
I mean, whoever I give them to can transfer it. You could care. transfer it, but you could also get a cute wine topper that maybe isn't like wine specific to put in those bottles because that's about the size of a wine bottle top. So you could get a cute little cork top, or, you know, you could do anything with yeah, it. Yeah, we could. You could put one of those spouts in there, um, like what you use for olive oil and pour. I mean, oh, there's so many things. But I have bigger bottles for that, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, I, I think it's perfect like it is. So. Yes, and I didn't want to make a lot, so. I mean, I made 12 bottles, but I didn't want to make, I didn't want to Huge bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's perfect, because honestly. That would have got really expensive. <clears throat> well, yeah, and honestly, how... How often is one going to use vanilla unless they bake all the time? So this right. bottle should last them for quite some right. time. Yeah. And Hopefully maybe not 10 years, but <laughs> oh, maybe Parker will make me some my own my own um no bakes. <gasps> there you go. Yeah. Parker. Oh my gosh. If she I give you the a best bottle, no bakes. The best. Yes. If you give her a bottle what? Of vanilla, I'll say you have to make me a batch. Yes. She doesn't have to double it. Just make me a batch. Yes, so you can taste your own vanilla. You can try it out before anybody else. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, no, I wouldn't do that. No. I would just say. Does she put vanilla in no bakes? I don't yes, even know. you do. Okay. Oh, good lord. I don't make no bakes. Yes, you do. You and you can't. You, you can't make them like like Aunt Parker. So you just don't even try. <laughs> I did pretty good. I made two batches this year and. I mean, at the end of the year. And I did okay. pretty good. They were pretty darn good. For real. I honestly, you know, from having the C word back in April 2020, I still don't really have my sense of taste or smell back. So right. certain things I, like, we made tuna the other day in London. Um, I had got out one of those, like, plastic, like, um, camping, like, gear, whatever. I probably got it in a Fab Fit Fun box to take it, like, to work. And so I got out a plastic knife, and she's cut the pickles, and... I taught her how to um, peel the eggs because we had made some the weekend before and how to cut the eggs. So she's doing all of that. And I tell you what, the smell of those hard boiled eggs. I'm like, Jesus. So you are getting why smell many? That's the only thing I could smell were the eggs. I couldn't smell anything else. But then when I'm eating the, the tuna later, I can't smell the eggs. So it's weird because I'll get like a whiff of something every now and then and then that's it. But things don't so taste. So crazy. It is. And things don't taste, like, I can't really stand the taste of chocolate. So, the no-bake cookies on Christmas, like, I would normally eat. I'm with eat, you. I, yeah. Chocolate is just a... Uh, I would normally eat an amount that I'm even, like, too embarrassed to admit about. Like, I would hoard those things. I would take some home. I would say, Santa likes no-bakes. Like, <laughs> it's ridiculous how good her no-bakes are. I would take... They're good. They're so good. They're addictive. They um, I maybe had two this year because I also cannot stand the way peanut butter tastes. And I loved peanut butter with, you know, apples I've never and celery. Been a peanut butter oh, fan. I love peanut butter. I would just eat it by the spoon sometimes. Can we go back to the eggs, though? Yeah. I cannot stand making hard boiled eggs. Really? I'm the worst <clears throat> hard boiled egg maker I, on the planet. I'm not the best, but if I'm not I rushed, can never peel them. I have done every trick in the book, I have set them. Suckers and ice water. You know. You want to piss me off? <laughs> tell me to bring hard boiled eggs. I have been known to just go to the store and buy them already done. It's okay. I cannot do them. You have to have patience like. You do. You have to have a whole nother set of patience that you do. I'm not a patient person. Anybody that knows me, they'll say you have the patience of an ass ass. And that is the God's honest truth. You know one thing that, that grosses me out, though, when I see deviled eggs? And I will not eat them if they're like this because I'm just weird when it comes to, uh, like, potluck food. And if it's family, it's a little different, depending on who brought them. Right. But <laughs> because because we, know, be honest. we know whose uh, kitchen's clean and whose yeah. kitchen's not. <laughs> so if I see, and it's not. And y'all know who you are. Yeah. And it's not them. It's probably the eggs because when I yeah, have the patience to boil them. Like, like when we did the past two times, we let them boil. Um, we let them sit in ice water forever. And there were still some where that shell, I swear, yeah. like that damn yeah. thing was not coming yeah, off. Yeah, that no was the yolk. And, you're, yes. and I have the pit. Like I said, I'm like, no. <laughs> whatever. But if Throw I see thing somebody bring doubled eggs and it's missing like chunks of the white part, I'm you just like, Who? no, because I'm like. How much nasty shit from under their nails was transferred to the oh eggs? My <laughs> You're never gonna be able to eat eggs the same ever again. So, oh my god, I'm sorry. It's just like, oh, you know, oh god, it so grosses me out. It makes me want to vomit. Now I'm gonna be like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, honestly.
honestly, who makes really good deviled eggs is Madison. She does. She she does, and they always look perfect. Perfect, and she she has the patience of I don't know. I I she I think Tyler was the last one up. who brought deviled eggs for maybe Christmas Eve, and I looked at him and I said, "Why the hell are they that color?" And I never had one. I couldn't do it because the color was weird. And then I find out later it's because they were smoked deviled eggs, and I heard they were amazing. They were, but amazing. the color. I'm like I don't no. know. Who you made know, those? No, you know what they were? I'm not going. You know what they were? They they have their own chickens. See? And so when you have fresh eggs, I'm sure they the were The yolk amazing. of a fresh egg is so orange. Yeah. And the eggs. They did. I was just like. Yes. And the why eggs does it that look we like buy that? at the store are disgusting and have no taste. Because we're so used to processed. Yes. You know exactly. Mm. And I have a wonderful client who brings me eggs. I have a coworker that and brings she eggs. knows who she is. <laughs> and she just brought me four dozen. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, I made like scrambled eggs just the other day. I yeah. used a dozen of them, a whole dozen, and that was just beautiful. And I, I even add, I them. even add he heavy cream to it. Oh. Instead of milk or water. I add hot and, sauce and ranch and a little bit of water. Well, I add, when I scramble and scramble I'm it. I'm Louisiana way. once they're cooked. Nope, I do it before. Try it. I've never okay. made I, scrambled you've eggs. You've said that before. I had a coworker back when I could taste that said. Try your scrambled eggs this way and not too much ranch because then it does get watery and it takes longer to cook that water out. Yeah. But just enough. It's like you're substituting the ranch for the milk and you don't have a ranchy taste. And sometimes I will still add a you splash of milk. You said you'll never have eggs. I've never. And even and when way, Darius no. makes them for us the way that um, I don't, London calls them out and she's like, that's not how you make eggs. <laughs> <laughs> and I just laugh. I'm like, everybody does it different. It's okay, but I do. I take my Frank's Red Hot Sauce and my Morton seasoning, a little bit of water, some ranch, and just whisk it up. And I, I they, I don't know what it is about it, but it's so good. Well, yeah. I, yeah, I like yeah. my eggs. But anyway, fresh eggs. They, 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 they are, are very vibrant color, beautiful color. I'm also weird when it comes to fresh They're eggs, and better. I know I need to eat fresh more. But when it's covered in bird doo-doo and I'm like okay do I wash the outside yeah I can wash the outside but the outside's not that. going in there so it's okay but sometimes the inside looks different than what you buy and it's terrible I just try not to think about it I let London craft she knows she does a good job she can get shells in there she does everything I just do the cooking so she likes to help yeah. so it works I should get <clears throat> Cooper in the kitchen more you should. she loves it but. and not that she's ever going to learn to be a chef because uh, I'm not a terrible cook but you know I can I can <laughs> I could follow a recipe, y'all. <laughs> She'll learn the good cooking from her dad. <laughs> Shane is actually an excellent cook, but so is Tyler. Tyler, Tyler is, is such a good cook. Excellent cook, and she did not get that from me. Uh -uh. They grew up eating Hamburger Helper, where now I can't even buy a box. We had Hamburger Helper last night. They begged me to buy a box, and I finally, finally did. I was like, oh. I don't okay. buy it very often, but we had a box in there, and I had... A pound of meat and like this needs to get eaten we're busy we've got things to do we didn't get home till late so i just it was easy quick and easy well i hadn't bought i mean it's been months since i even bought that box mm -hmm. but i mm -hmm. made it because they begged me shane and cooper begged me and they loved it yeah and it, and i did taste it and it was pretty darn good it was I, for, but i hadn't had it in years as a kid we always had it with um buttered bread I, yeah. Not toasted, just buttered bread and cottage cheese on the side. Well, I didn't do the bread or the cottage cheese. I just had a bowl. But that's when I, when I think of Hamburger Helper, that's how I want it. Cottage cheese, a slice of buttered bread. Right. <laughs> and all of that, but whatever. Right. So, childhood memories, I guess. I guess. Whatever. Darius looks at me like, uh, that's disgusting. He doesn't like cottage cheese either. But Oh, I love cottage cheese. Yeah. I love it. I do too. Morton's, okay. the more Morton, the more Morton seasoning, the better. So. Right. Okay. Right. Awesome. Well, it's that time again. We have to say goodbye. We've rambled on for way too long. But if you like us, consider subscribing, um, share with your friends, comment what you like, what you don't like on the um, podcast, all of that. You said there's something with like a little, a little bell yeah, that hit you, that, um, hit that, yeah, hit that bell so that you get notified mm -hmm. for all of our uploads Perfect. on the podcast. You'll Perfect. get notified every time we upload a new podcast, which yeah. is every Sunday we upload a new podcast. Yay. So, yeah. Yes. Share with your friends and family. Yes. yes. And remember that no matter what you're doing, always have a crazy good time, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>